Hello, this is Errol at home, and welcome to J-Hope's Mint Chocolate in the Box Soaps. As always, I'm using a palm-free recipe with natural colorants and scented with essential oils. It's a 750 gram oil batch recipe, and I'll put the recipe with percentages in the description box so that you can scale it up or down to fit your mold. Adding sugar improves the bubbles, the kaolin clay seems to help anchor the essential oils and also improves the lather. I dissolved the Peru balsam in roughly an equal weight of isopropyl alcohol before adding it to the batter because it disperses better that way. Distilled water is the recommended. I use rainwater that has been boiled and then chilled in the fridge. Chilling the water or using half ice and half water helps to reduce the fumes when you add the sodium hydroxide and also reduces the time it takes to cool down enough to add to the oils. I usually use a ratio of two parts water to one part lye for the lye solution because I want the lye to dissolve completely, at which point the solution will become clear and colourless. It's best to pour the lye onto the spatula or down the shaft of the stick blender to break the fall and reduce the chance of any splashes. The inspiration for J-Hope's soap comes from his contribution in the 65th episode of Run BTS in the mint chocolate debate. I think he should get an MVP for his part, it still makes me laugh. And the aesthetic comes from his brilliant solo album, Jack in the Box. Beeswax soap traces fast. The kaolin clay, cocoa powder and cinnamon bark essential oil also accelerate trace. So while I stopped stick blending at emulsion, by the time I poured it, it was already at medium trace. This is helpful because I wanted this batch to harden quickly for cutting it the next day. After spritzing it with isopropyl alcohol to reduce soda ash, I used the cold process oven process, which involves putting the soap into a preheated oven at 60 degrees Celsius, turning the oven off and leaving the soap in overnight. This ensures the soap goes through gel, making the colour deeper and more even. I sliced the soap horizontally twice, and to get the angles I wanted, I used a piece of timber and a coaster on the first cut, and two coasters on the second cut. I'm a fan of low-tech solutions. I drew up a couple of different plans for the soap, and I preferred the one with gaps of 15mm and 25mm. So I marked the soap with three 15mm gaps, then six 25mm gaps, then three 15mm gaps along one side, and the opposite measurements on the other side. So three lots of 25, six lots of 15mm, and then three lots of 25mm. I needed a more fluid recipe to fill the gaps between the embeds, so I created a recipe without the beeswax, which meant I could soap at a cooler temperature. The cocoa batch was scented with a delicious, slightly chocolatey blend of essential oils, and this batch is coloured with green clay and scented with peppermint essential oil for the mint chocolate theme. Peppermint oil also helps to slow trace. Please remember to be safe when handling lye, and wear protective clothes, goggles and gloves. I poured the melted hard oils into a jug for ease of pouring, and added the liquid oils, and soaked at around 40 degrees Celsius. It still didn't go smoothly. It thickened much more quickly than I wanted, and I had to keep rearranging the embeds and tapping it on the floor to get the batter to settle into all of the gaps. The texture of the batter went like this, and I'm not quite sure why. At this temperature, it shouldn't be false trace. Anyway, I spent ages trying to get the embeds back into the original places, with mixed results. Next time, I will try brushing some melted coconut oil onto the base of the mould first to glue them in place. This also went through the C-pop method. The soap came out of the mould quite easily and was firm enough to cut. There are a few things I would change if I make this soap again and I'll talk about those at the end. Since I had created the green version of Jack in the Box, I wanted to make the pink version as well, and I had the embeds ready. So I used the same recipe as for the green soap but I scented it with lavender because Foray, and I replaced the olive oil with indigo infused olive oil as I did for Jungkook's Cookies Eyebrow Soap. I added the liquid oils to the melted hard oils, transferred them to a jug and added the lye. I really love the color pink that this gives and I tried to be a little bit more sparing with the stick blender this time too. 
With this batch, I did a better job of keeping the embeds in place by pouring less into each gap at a time so they weren't pushed sideways by the weight of the batter. I trimmed off the top and bottom and split it into three with a quarter inch slice left over, then cut each slice into four bars. Some of the things I would do differently next time was I think I needed to soap the green and pink batches at a lower temperature. It was around 40 degrees Celsius, perhaps I should have let it drop another five degrees. I got a lot of air bubbles in the soap even though I tapped the blender to get the air out. In the jug the blender was almost vertical so perhaps I should have tilted it to do a better job of removing the air. The quarter inch slices were laminated and cut into bars too. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, you might like these too.